This video is now brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Yugi, Kaiba, Joey, my. It's time to do 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 What is up, people? Dom Tools is right here, and welcome to the final Yu Gi Oh! pack opening of the month and of the year. But it's a big one for you guys because you guys deserve it for the bottom of my heart. Today, we're opening it up. Before we do, check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. We are opening. Three packs of Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Three packs of Spell Ruler. Three packs of Pharaoh Servant. Three packs of Invasion of Chaos. Three versions of Dark Crisis. And three packs of Metal Raiders. Holy crap, people. 15 packs of Retro. Woo! Look at this lot! Look at the beauty! Look at the beauty of my childhood, people! Look at the beauty of my childhood! I am mixing them all up because I just want to open up them as random as ever because you guys deserve this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I pretty much broke down three um, Legendary Collection ones to get them all out. So I spent a lot of money on this. It was like £25 for one box. I spent about £75 for you guys to do this. This is nuts. But anyhow. This is going to be fun. Because we are finally opening up a new lot of sleeves. And you guys are serving for the final pack opening of Yu-Gi-Oh! for the year. Purple Rain! Purple Rain! Ultra Pro Sleeves, my boys and girls. Hell yes! So, what am I hoping to get out of 15 packs? You guys already know. Regional base set, base set of Yu-Gi-Oh! are hard to pull. You guarantee just a rare, not even a holo. The harder. That's how I like it, because a super rare is worth something there, an ultra is worth more, a secret is worth a crap ton. Back in the day, there was an ultimate. They were worth even more. But, now that they remastered them, I don't think they do the ultras and the ultimates anymore. Hopefully we can pull at least, I really hope, three ultrates. Um, no, I'm being too greedy. Two ultrates and uh, three supers. That's what I'm hoping for. That's going to be a good, good, good end off for you, Gil. So, let's get this started. We're starting off with Dark Crisis with Exodius Necros at the back. Let me smell the cards. Oh. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these classic retros. We got Rod of the Mind's Eye. We got a ritual card for the Order, the Ordeal. Altar of Altar for Tribute. Oh, we get the same Pharrell! <laughs> oh, baby, what a start! A new ritual card. We got Dark Master Zorak, and I remember this card very well. I actually used to have this card in one of my decks a long time ago. That's awesome. And then there's our rare. We got Guardian Bar. Okay. We got Archfiend's Oath, Shooting Star Bow Seal. We got Really Eternal Rest, and we got Dark Scorpion. Chick the Yellow. Nice. All right, let's start. We get ourselves an Ultra Rare, which is awesome. First stand. It's a shame that they're not first editions. It would have been amazing if they were first edition. But they're only non editions. But we at least get ourselves a first Super Rare, which is awesome. Next up, Spell Ruler. With the background, we have Relinquish. That'd be awesome if we get a Relinquish card. We got a uh, Chorus of Sanctuary. We got Machinal Snail. We got Whiptail Crow. We got Labyrinth Wall, amazing card. We got Mystic Tomato, which used, which is a slightly off-cut card, but it's actually not bad. And plus, everybody uses this card nowadays. That's awesome. We got Mystic Plasma Zone. We got Stone Ogre Grotto. Chicken Bakudan, hell yeah, what a classic card. And Dan as a preach approaches. Not bad. Mystic Tomato is always a good, good card for everyone to use in their tournaments. It's a, it's a standard great card. 
Next up, another pack of Dark Crisis. We got Dice Reroll, Twin Sword of Flashing Light, Trice, Spell Reproduction. We got Guardian Elma, and then we get a rare. I am I haven't seen this card in a long time. We got Infernal Queen Archfiend, awesome. And then we got another Yellow the Chick, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Archfiend's War. I am Blacksmith, Coltus. And also, you guys already know, Archfiends are coming back now, now that uh, they're making a lot of supports for Summon Skull. So, mainly all the classic Archfiends that are in these packs are worth using. So, if you guys really want to make an Archfiend deck, go ahead and use uh, Dark Crisis. They are very good cards. Next up, another pack of Spell Ruler. We've got Fairy's Hand Mirror. Umaruka. Flash, Assass, uh, Assailant, Labyrinth Wall, another rare, we got Hayazuru, nice, we got Trials of the Filka, or Fikla, Eternal Rest, a Performance of the Sword, nice, Twin Long Rods number 2, not bad, and plus these cards I haven't seen in such a long long time back when I was a child, so it's taken me back down to memory lane, I love it. Next pack, Invasion of Chaos. Would it be amazing if we actually pulled Magician of Black Chaos? That, my friends, would be sick. We've got Chapman, the, dis the Desperate Outlaw. Heart of the Underdog, classic card. we got Gren Maju de Iza. I remember that card too, it's awesome. Blazing Impaste. We got, oh, classic card, everybody uses this spell, Evacuation Device, awesome, rare. We got Spiritual Collapse, Salvage, Don Turtle, and Stealth Bird, another great card that everybody uses. A good card for burning your opponent, which is really good. Oh, every time you flip it over, it gets a thousand damage onto you, and it goes straight back to the face down defense. It's awesome. Another pack of Dark Crisis. We've only pulled one super at the moment, so I'm looking a bit worried right now. We've got Stunch Defender, Little Wingard. We've got Morale Boost. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I just lost my voice! we got Vampire Lord as a secret rare! Oh baby! Hit the front door! What pack was that? Was that Dark Crisis? Oh baby! Oh my god, we pulled a secret! I wouldn't have thought that would happen because it's like 24 packs to pull a secret! Dude! That is epic! Oh my god, we get Vampire Lord as a secret rare! Dude, that's amazing, that is beautiful. And then we get Fear from the Dark as the rare. Acrobatic Monkey, Pendulum, Battle Footballer, and we get another Dark Scorpion. That is awesome. Oh my effing god. OMFG. That's way better than Ultra. I don't mind getting now just no Ultras, but about three more Supers. I'll be happy. A secret though, that is phenomenal. Never thought that would happen. <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause, people. We got some goods. Holy God. Invasion of Chaos, another pack. And then after that, we got Legend of Blue Eyes Red Dragon next. What else can we get here? We got Soul Obstruction, Gale Lizard, Selpede. We got the Fuma Samurai card, not bad. There's a super! Oh, it was the wrong way around! I'll take it! We got Ulrika, Mega Fortress of Darkness! Awesome whale of a blooming fortress thing. It's like metal, but it's a, it's a whale. Awesome super! Oh, I'll take it! Hyper Hammerhead of the Ants, Insect Whistle, and the Terror King Salmon. Oh man, we got two supers and we get a freaking secret. 
Purple Rain is always on my side, and so is Modahor. You'll never be forgotten. Next up. Wait, wait, what am I doing? No, never hide that secret rare, never. Next up, Legend of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let me smell this. <laughs> we got green phantom king, dark grey, silver fang, monster's egg, we got a flower wolf, not bad as a rare, and then we got kumu toko, red skull dragon, drooling lizard, and silver ball and arrow. Not bad, not bad for your classics. Because mainly in the first ever boost pack, which was Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, there was hardly any effect cards. They were mainly just normal and a few spells. You may be lucky to get yourself a trap. I don't remember if there was any traps in Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. It was mainly just awesome normal cards and spells. That was it. We got Silver Fang, Turtle Tiger, Dissolve Rock, Monster Egg. Reaper on the cards! There we go! A good good rare effect card actually. Very nice indeed. We got Tripwire Beast, Laser Dragon, Drilling Lizard, and Air Mill. Not bad at all. Good rare actually. I like uh, Reaper of the cards. Next up, Metal Raiders! Come on! And right off the start, we get ourselves Cocoon of Evolution. We've got Roaring Ocean Snake, classic card. We've got Petite Moth. We've got Ancient Elf. we got Ho Shinigan, a lovely rare. Then we've got Lady of the Faith. I don't actually have this as a real card. I've always got it as a fake, so that's awesome to have it as real. Battle Steer, Sword of the Deep Sacreds, and Punished Eagle. Eagle! And at least we got Hoshin again, back as a rare, classic rare card, indeed, love it. Another pack of the Legend of the Blue Eyes Right Dragon. What can we pull here, people, what can we pull? We got Violet Crystal for your zombies, we got Legendary Sword, Dark Grey, Wasteland, Goblin Secret Remedy as a rare, not bad, and we got Dark Energy. Tripwire Beast, Medabat, Fire Royal. Not bad. Next up, Feral Servant with Thousand Eyes Restrict at the back. Oh boy, that'd be awesome if we get Thousand Eyes Restrict. That'd be an amazing pull. We've got Armored Glass, Flying Chimera number two, Four Star Ladybug of the Doom. We got Ground colla um, Collapse. We got Light Force Sword. Not bad for your Exodia to st Stopper. We got Griodus. Bite Shoe. Fire, so Dark Fire Soldier 1. Driving Snow. Okay. I'm looking a bit worried here, but still, I do not mind. OMFG still, people, because we get ourselves a Seeker Rare. It may not be worth hardly anything because these are old packs and old packs nowadays don't really go for a lot unless it's their very massive staple cards. But Vampire Lord is a staple because it was in a, um, who was it, Bandit Keeps deck or was it Bones? I don't remember. We got ourselves Baby Dragon, Labyrinth Tank, Dream Clown, Mystic Horseman. Oh shit again, welcome back my friend. We got Rabid Horseman, Tongue Hero. Queen's Double, nice. And I forgot what that card's called. <laughs> Not bad, we got two here, Shinigans. Not bad at all. It's Hoshinigan Heaven right here now. Another pack of Fail Servant. Let's have a look. We got the four star Ladybug of the Doom. We got Mystic Probe. We got Skull Mari uh, Marina. Island Turtle. We got Hayabusa Knight. Again, we got Sword Hunter, Metal Detector, Dark Sleep, and World Suspension. Nice.
Next pack, Metal Raiders with the awesome Black Skull Dragon at the back. We have Share the Pain, Leogun, Feral Imp. Oh, baby! <laughs> An ultra rare Horn of Heaven! Oh, blow that horn and send me to heaven! Oh, baby, that is awesome! We get a soup, two supers, a ultra, and a secret. That is enough for me, people. For 15 packs, I'll take that. That is awesome. And then we get Mask of Darkness as a rare. Not bad. A Prevent Rat, a Mystic Lamp, Mythical Beast, and Social Snake. That is awesome. We finally get an ultra rare now. A Horn of the Heaven. Lovely card, actually. It's a beautiful card. I think it's better than the Dark card. You know, the Dark Horn. I think that's the Horn of the Underworld or something. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember fully. But, man, that is awesome to pack, people. Awesome to pack. Let's keep going. Another pack of Farewell Servants. We've got Minor Goblin Ofe Official, Steel Ogre Grotto number 2, Shadow of Ice, Only Tank T34, and we got a Nobleman of Extermination as a rare. We have Kisanti, Solomon Wives, Two-Headed Fire Dragon, not bad, and Overdrive. We've only got two packs left and we have Invasion of Chaos that is last. Spell Ruler next. Oh mama, let's keep going. We got Ryuran. Upstar Goblin. I know this is worth something. This is worth at least a quid nowadays. That's awesome. We got Typhoon number two. Rising Air Current. We got Amber. We got Molten Destruction. Chicken and Bagel Dam, Fire Kraken, and Talon of Fickle. Not bad. At least that pack was like at least worth at least a quid. <laughs> because of that common. Let's <laughs> leave this lab bad boy up. One pack left, people. Now, as you guys know, why is these have price tags? Because when I buy them off him, I'm going to get it cheaper because I go ahead and buy the Let's Do Collection boxes, open them up. Switch them around and we get the price easily done. But these many cost under £5 in each pack. Some of the others go for £3.95 because of the rarity of the packs. These ones are like more harder to come by. Invasion of Chaos and the Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Dimension Destruction. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Jade Insect Whistle. The Amber MK3. Mad Dog of Darkness. And Prickly Fairy. Feather Duster, Godor, Neobug. There we go. We didn't get ourselves the Magician of Black Chaos, but it doesn't matter because we did fantastic, people. Pulling four hollows, and one's a secret, one's an ultra, and two's a super. Out of 15 packs, that I do not mind that, people. That is awesome. But before we do say goodbye, people, let's see on what we pulled today. At least we only pulled one set of duplicates in the in the rares, which is awesome. We got ourselves our two main man, two host shitigans. Secret Remedy, Lights on Sword, Reap of the Cards, Mad Dog of Maron, uh, Mad Dog of Darkness, I meant. We got Amber, No Man of the um, Extermination, Dark Mask of Darkness, The Knight, Flower Wolf, we got the Samurai, Fear of the Dark, Evacuation Device, which is still worth a little bit nowadays, Dragon. Arch Fiend, Mr. Tomato, that's still worth a bit, and that's Guardian card. But for Hollows of the Day, people, of the day, we got ourselves the Okamek Fortress of Darkness Super Rare, Dark Master Zorark Super Rare, an Ultra Rare Horn of the Heaven, and then we get a Secret Rare from Dark Crisis, the Vampire Lord. Oh, baby. That is beautiful. Anyhow, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is one of the big pack of of this month. 
Make sure you hit the like button. Check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And with that being said, the people I'm just leaving you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. If you guys are not into your Pokemon, have a great Christmas and I'll see you next year. Cheerio! I can't believe it. What a way to end off Yu-Gi-Oh! for Christmas and the year. We pull a secret, an ultra, and two supers. Oh, baby! One well, that people like using it for grass. We got a reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Oh. oh my god! Secret Rare Next Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the Ultra Ball for a second, but it ain't. It's the Nest Ball. Oh, baby, wait a minute. One for the. Uh, did I do? Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh my god! Oh!